welcome back to Let's Play A.W.E., the DLC chapter for Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, we uh, helped Framaro get his head back. <laughs> he still doesn't seem to know what to make of him. No. Hmm, that's not ideal. And I'm trying to see if I can get up there. Fire in the hole! Hey! That worked! I was kind of expecting it to be invincible. Oh, right, yeah. Let's do something not, uh, wildly specified here. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Oh. I wonder what's up with that Marine Sergeant. I mean, Ranger Sergeant. Why don't I say Marine? Of all things, that's a very specific thing to say. Nothing going on. Huh. Disappointing. Here's that thing I was moving around. find a light and bring it back in here, I guess. <laughs> yes, right. Perfectly. Oh, look, I missed one. I'm sure Artie will appreciate that. Right, yeah, that part. Oh, the bullet holes are still there. That's really interesting to me. Every goddamn time. All right. Oh, they're too concentrated now. It's very, essentially a very close-range, very powerful pistol. Uh, pistol? Pistol. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <clears throat> Where's the other one in the Eagle Limited? Sure! I do like that train. I wouldn't want it to get possessed by the dark. I 
I mean, it's very interesting to me that a train is capable of being sad. Oh. That actually paid off! Nice! Now that's very interesting, that all of the words in that sentence were, uh... Verbs. Pierce Zoom Boost. Why doesn't it have a door? Uh... I guess it stands to reason the dark wouldn't be over here. Leaning to the side as if it's actually going to help me peer around the corner. <laughs> How did I get in there? Damn it, me. I have been in there. Oh, that's what that is. I heard that. Okay, I just need to figure out... Oh, even better, there's one up here, and I don't need to get into the control room. We have a task. going. That worked out a lot better than it really should have, but okay. I'm not going to look my luck in the mouth. That was a weird mixture of metaphors. Uh, okay, that's good. Then let's get the fuck out of here. Oops, sorry about that. After helping me too. How rude. Ahem. No, no, no. Alas. I don't need that actually, so I'm just gonna put that away. Here's grip. I haven't had grip in a while. In fact, I noticed that it probably needs some upgrades. Oh, I've gotten rid of all of the old... Uh, mm hmm. What was that one, anyway? There it is. Ah, uh, yes. That's actually not bad. For a level 2 mod? Yeah. Oh, that's not what that one is. Shit. Although it is what that one is. Except that I think this was better. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Alright. Fair enough. Where was the other end of the room? Sure. Later. Hang in there, buddy. Maybe if you're very, very good, they'll give you rail privileges. I mean, they've got a whole transit system here. I'm just creating more work for someone at this point. What am I meant to be doing? Sorry, uh... Right, okay. That's actually connected to both of these places. Except that this door doesn't open, I knew that. Of 
probably be more accurate to say the door no longer opens. How do I get in? No, this isn't even it. It's uh, further down. And what's the point of that wall? While I'm asking questions. Oh, fuck! I forgot about you! Entity Capture Report, uh, Shaded Specimen A010, formerly Dr. Emil Hartman, compiled by Agent Estevez. An alert from the redacted Washington mon uh, Monitoring Station in- oh, uh, Bright, Wall Bright Falls, Washington. Uh, monitoring Station indicated minor redacted activity occurring in the area. Agent Estevez was dispatched to, the, to investigate. Inside the redacted lodge, uh... Yeah, I can't remember what the name of the lodge was. It was just the lodge in my head. Uh, she discovered the facility's former owner, Dr. Emil Hartman. He had been converted into a shaded individual, per definitions found in file 6-34-1923, and displayed violent behavior characteristic of its type. Agent Estevez alerted the on-site research team to the specimen's presence, and with some difficulty it was successfully contained in a black rock cell. The cell and its inhabitant were transported safely back to HQ, where the specimen remains detained in the redacted sector as part of the redacted AWE investigation. as part of the Bright Falls AWE investigation. Once the investigation is closed, research teams have petitioned to relocate this specimen to their sector for study. Refer to file 5 11 0203 for full report. Oh boy. Can it climb? God, I hope not. I like the painting dancing on the wall. That was a nice touch. Oh boy. Uh. Oh, alright. I'll take a peek. Just a peek, though. Oh, fuck. There actually is something. Yes! an office back here. Oh. Oh, jo oh, joy! This is happening again. I was so worried that would only happen once this session. Employee misdemeanor. Why is this here? <laughs> Why is any of this here? Federal Bureau of Control misdemeanor report. Employee name Turnbull Samuel. Agent position, supervisory agent. Report type, misdemeanor, assault. He just beat the shit out of someone? Agent Samuel Turnbull committed a misdemeanor while committing, performing his duties as supervising agent of Project Redacted, designed to help undercover agents reassimilate to office duties. Oh no. Uh, the incident began when Agent Turnbull refused one of the operatives' entry into the oldest house, claiming they had been compromised. The situation escalated as Agent Turnbull attempted to force a confession out of the bastard. The... I pronounced that weirdly. Force the confession out of the bastard. Yes, that's much better. The injuries inflicted upon the victim required a trip to the medical wing. Agent Turnbull denied any guilt, maintaining that the victim was some sort of pod person. And that he, unlike his colleagues, could see their true intentions. To use the Bureau's intent, uh, connections to climb the ranks of government and eventually into the Oval Office. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I feel like no agent of the Bureau is ever going to become a uh, president because of the th uh, the thing where uh, the oldest house reflects its, you know, anonymous nature on the Bureau. You'd have to, like, stop working here for people to remember you very well. Uh, action taken despite breaching Bureau Offense Code 45. Uh, Agent Turnbull was given leave of absence with full pay due to his sterling record. He will be required to undergo a psychological evaluation upon his return. That seems fairly generous, but, you know, whatever. I don't know the guy. 
maybe he just got divorced or something. And it's not an excuse for beating someone up. I'm just saying, you know, there may be extenuating circumstances and the guy's just not a complete piece of garbage like that makes it sound. How in the... Oh, that's not... A, that's just a handle. I thought something was in there and not falling out. That's a nice touch, all the drawers being hanging open like that. There's nowhere right now. It's very funny to me. Section of the floor sticks up for no reason. No reason. Okay, confirmed. I need to go back and find that image of a door and just destroy it wherever I find it. Very strange. Huh. I mean, if I wanted to listen to this, I could just take us back to the, uh, the ashtray maze with Shum 2. Or I could, uh, you know, just play it in the menu. And it would sound better than this. But if I just stand... Oh, I thought that was, uh, like this thing was sliding over very slowly. Uh, all right, I'll see what happens if anything happens while I play the song, but I'm gonna not record that. Jump cut. <laughs> okay. So yes, nothing happens if you, uh, wait to the very end of the song. I also tried grabbing it and floating through here, but I guess it's just the, uh, the ashtray maze that the, uh, song has power over. Boy, that was, uh, a test of my, uh, dedication, given that the song itself, when not, like, stretched out for the ashtray maze, is like eight minutes long. I mean, you know, poets that have all do tend to make longer songs. Uh, dark, dis uh, my dark disquiet was. That's what that looks like. Uh, yeah, my dark disquiet was like five minutes long, but you know, even for that, this is. Uh, Excessive. Uh huh. But there's nothing here. I'm not meant to go there. Where the fuck am I meant to go? There's a ceiling over here. Ah, uh, sorry. Oh! Motel complaint! Hey, Stu. Did you hear about Fisher? Got himself in trouble in the motel. Why the hell does anyone volunteer to stake out that place? Gives me the creeps. But hey, at least he came back. If you can call it that. I saw some of the footage they pulled out of there with him. Tom, down at evidence processing, showed me crazy stuff. Fisher had him, the camera pointed at himself half the time. I'm guessing he went nuts on day one. He did catch something, though. Got one of those fiber optic cameras under the door of the room he was hiding in and recorded something out in the hall. Looked like a shadow, maybe human. 
Tom tried to get the quality up, but it's still blurry as fuck. Just reaffirms my position. Stay the fuck out of the motel. Anyway, up for some shoom later? Lisa got up to an hour and 38 minutes yesterday. New record to beat. See ya, Dave. Huh. Well, sorry, Stu. I wrecked her office. I was going to comment at some point, I don't remember if I actually did it or not, that I find it interesting that for all the talk of house shifts and how common they are, we've never seen one. Other than, you know, when Jesse resets a room from cleansing it. But that seemed to be strictly the house blocking off an area to, like, a, as a protective measure against the hiss. Or at least an attempt at one. And with that done... Ugh, I must call it an episode, Stretch. Looks like we might be uh, ending things in the next room. Why don't we keep doing that instead of that? Oh no, of course we're going to be ending things in the Bright Falls AWE. Why didn't I think of that? Ha. Huh. Sorry about that, just wanted to redo my outro. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play A.W.E. The DLC chapter for Control. Stay in the light.